I'm Laura Bittner and I'm a screen composer and singer-songwriter. I've always wanted to write music for film since I was a little kid. I, um, my dad showed me lots of awesome movies when I was a kid, so I remember watching Schindler's List and then running up to the piano and learning the soundtrack um, by ear on the piano or um, other soundtracks like Amelie when that came out. I was obsessed with that. So I just always had a real strong passion for film and film music. And so that's been kind of what I've been, my goal my whole life, but my life kind of just fell into singer-songwriting um, just by playing shows and writing lots of songs. And then I went into a bachelor music degree with a um, major in singer-songwriting. And so I got kind of more seriously into singer-songwriting and that's kind of, my life kind of went down that path for a bit. But then I was always like, ah, don't forget about screen composing. I always wanted to do that still. So I wrote for a lot of journalism projects in my bachelor's and then finally made the leap to come to Toronto and then just furiously got down to work with collaborating with as many people as possible. That kind of catapulted me into like really getting seriously into screen composing. Starting out in this career, there's not really, it's such a niche uh, job that there's not that much information on how to even go about it and there's really never a right way. There's just choices you have to make. So for me that was the biggest hurdle I had to leap over was figuring out, okay, what's my voice? How am I gonna do this? Because there's just so many ways to go about a career in the industry of singer-songwriting and screen composing. The best part about this job is getting to work with incredible people and it's always so interesting to work with, whether it's directors or dancers or photographers or editors, other musicians, composers. Like, it just, I just love collaborating and coming up with really new, interesting ideas and creating like profound, important um, projects. So that's, and also I love performing and just getting to meet people and connect with a whole audience. And that's just what really has always made me want to pursue this as like a full time career. So that's, that. All right. I definitely want to get to a point where I'm writing for big budget films, getting to work with huge orchestras and just getting to make incredible music with incredible musicians. I think that's something that I've always wanted to do. And just also I would love as a singer songwriter, I would love to tour and do bigger and better shows with smoke and lights and fire. Like I think that would be so fun to do and with I would love to tour with a small string ensemble or um, you know, play on big grand pianos. That's like, that would be so awesome. It's so important to just know your own voice, be open and don't get hardened by the assholes <laughs> that will try and dampen your spirit or squash you. Cause there are a lot of them. And I found that like coming to Toronto kind of made a woman out of me a bit, like I'm still, Still a girl, not yet a woman. <laughs> I kind of got a bit hardened when I had a lot of really shocking obstacles when I got here that I just never expected. And as a sensitive person, I kind of almost wanted to just be, maybe I, if I had gone down that path, I would have become like a darkened soul. And I think you have to always just be kind, be patient and try and just like focus on your route and your, your creativity. I, uh, I think that is kind of the hardest part about it. Um, but I think definitely my family being so incredibly supportive of um, my leap here to Toronto and my career. And um, also th there's an amazing community here in Toronto of arts and film and, and, and music and just some, so many incredible people that I've met that have become really close friends of mine and like mentors and supporters that have really like helped me keep going. If I didn't have them, my family, I probably would have given up for sure. So I'm, I'm really glad I didn't. <laughs> my life, I have been waiting lies, hunger for the shore, the sun, the glistening sand beneath my feet. Seek a clear view of the sky